Welcome to Love Where You Live, your monthly episode showcasing the best of Sheboygan County from the Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce. I'm Deidre Martinez, Executive Director of the Sheboygan County Chamber, and Happy New Year! Coming out of the holiday season and starting off the new year right, I thought it would be a good time to talk about health and fitness. So joining me first today is Elizabeth Heitzman, owner of The Float Doctor in Sheboygan. So welcome, Elizabeth. Hi, thanks How for are having you? me. I, I'm great. Wonderful, we are excited to have you and uh, to learn a little bit more about you and The Float Doctor. So first, just start off by telling us who, you know, a little bit more about yourself and your background. Okay, well, um, I've, been, uh, I, I've been in counseling since 1995. I started off at a residential facility or transitional facility where people came out of the hospitals, were chronically mentally ill, and we helped to transition them to live on their own. And um, from there, I got married, had children, couldn't work 70 hours a week, so then um, I did something more flexible, doing uh, end-of-life counseling, and also um, um, did some contract work with funeral homes to help plan funerals. Wow. So um, I, I've kind of been on a lot of different sides of mental health. Um, so that's a little bit about my background. Wow. Okay. And that, yeah, you are kind of on one, one side to the next. Yes. But certainly interesting. So we're here to talk, um, obviously mental health is, is certainly important. Mm -hmm. um, and part of what you've just done in the last, I, was it a year? Possibly? It's been a year. It's yeah. one year, just over mm -hmm. a year now, is Open the Float Doctor in Sheboygan. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people, including myself, that have some questions about what is floating. What does that look like? And mm -hmm. um, so tell us a little bit more about the float doctor. Okay. Well, um, floating is uh, basically the most relaxing bath you've ever had. Uh, okay. it, it, it was designed in the 50s uh, by a, a gentleman named John Lilly. He was a psychiatrist. And he did a lot of different studies about uh, mental health and healing. And um, he... He designed the uh, a sensory deprivation chamber. Actually, it was designed to help um, them to pull variables out to test mentally, uh, you know, um, psych psychiatric medications and that sort of thing. And they were trying to take variables out, and then they realized that the the testing context, mm -hmm. in and of itself, was had its own variable. Right. Um, it, there wasn't any pressure points. There's a, at least with our equipment, there's a thousand pounds of Epsom salts. And if you know anything about Epsom salts, um, right. uh, they help draw inflammation out of your system. Um, they draw um, toxins out of your system. And um, your skin absorbs the magnesium that's in the Epsom salts. And uh, it, most people are deficient in that, about 40% of us. Okay. And when you don't have enough magnesium, you're um, your nerves don't fire as sharply or as, as well as they should. So um, laying in that tank and just relaxing and being totally buoyant, you just float like a cork. And um, no pressure points at all. So your uh, joints can relax, your muscles can relax, and you absorb all that magnesium and the inflammation comes out. And you go to this just wonderful, relaxing place they call a theta state. So like when you first come to float, you might um, shift in and out of it because your okay. body isn't know what it's like to just shut off to and relax yeah <laughs> yes exactly and turn everything off um, um, it, and there's several processes that turn off so um, one part is it's the same temperature as your skin uh, which is about 94.5 degrees right in there um, and so um, you're brain doesn't have to adjust. So like in this room with the lights and stuff, maybe it's like 75 here. So your your brain is like heating your body up right now. But okay. for that part to just turn off, it that is something that really doesn't happen very often. Then um, the, there's a vestibular process as well, which is um, making sure you don't fall over when you're walking. Even when you're sleeping, it says, hey, Deidre, roll over, your legs fall out of sleep. So that like that's always on. When you're in a tank, that can just take a back seat, and um, uh, you, you just totally relax and um, don't have any sensory input. It is dark. It should be dark. Okay. Um, we do give you glow sticks if you're a little uncomfortable about just being in a dark room. Okay. Um, but yeah, um, you just like reset like a computer. 
like resets. Hmm. So like if your computer is acting wonky, you reboot it, right? That's what floating is. It kind of reboots your system. Wow. So, yeah. So how much time do you spend um, when you schedule an appointment? How much time do you spend in a tank? Well, um, if people are treating something, so let's say they want to work on anxiety. Maybe they have migraines. Um, maybe they have, uh, we've got people with Lyme's disease or pain issues or joint problems. If, if you're trying to treat something, then it's recommended to go for 90 minutes. So you get that little extra soak and a little time to just kind of have that extra shutdown. And it gives more chance for the inflammation in your system to get drawn out and more healing can take place then. So you'll have more lasting effects with a 90-minute session as opposed to a 60-minute session. But we do offer 60-minute sessions if you want to ease into it. Okay, very good. And I know you'd mentioned the glow sticks, and that was a question for me is Uh what do you, you know, if you're maybe feel claustrophobic and you're Uh in this, you know, it's a different space and it's dark and you're not really sure what to expect. Uh Do you get that a lot or do you have many people complain that feel have that claustrophobic feeling? Well, well, people ask about it a lot and we have people come in who say, well, you know, when I I had a panic attack when I was in an MRI, you know, I'm a little worried about this, Mm -hmm. but, um, you know, the, this claustrophobia is a symptom. And okay. just like anything else, like even if you're thinking about, oh, I got to go to the grocery store after this and I can't forget this or this or this, you know, all of those things can be released and let go. I'm safe. I'm okay. Uh, everything's fine. But um, claustrophobia is a sense that something is closing in on you. Okay. But when you're in a tank, it's endless black. It just, you you don't feel like anything's coming in, if that makes sense. And certainly you can just push the door open so it's not like you're locked in. You know, we don't lock you in there. (laughs) So, um, (laughs) you know, so so (laughs) there's absolute freedom and you're absolutely perfectly safe. And um, at, there's nothing closing in at all. It's it, it's like walking into a like a, a walk-in cooler. Okay. And, and if you could go in a walk-in cooler and not feel like the walls are going to cave in on you, um, right. you're probably okay. So you probably okay. have to be very, very, very badly um, anxious. And even in those cases, plenty, plenty of studies have taught people to do some breathing. And we do talk to people about if that is an issue. Mm-hmm. We'll 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 talk to them about some different strategies, breathing and releasing that they get past that quite quickly okay. so um, we can get past that for sure. all right very good so I know you talked a little bit about in um, examples of migraines and anxiety but mm-hmm. what are some other who else would this be good for uh, well I, our society is overstimulated period. I can't imagine. Uh, you know, we're, we're getting hit with so much information on our phones. Um, and so anybody who just wants to just kind of reset and plug back into themselves, mm-hmm. um, I, you know, and it creates really authentic change. Uh, the gentleman, his name's Crash, the one who designed my tanks. He's got okay. the float lab equipment. Um, he, he had um, um, a drug and heroin addiction for 25 years before mm-hmm. he designed these tanks. And it was through the tanks that he was able to recognize his own escapism, basically, Mm -hmm. and really find himself underneath all the trauma and bad things that had happened to him. And he found himself in the tank. And he really attributes the tank to um, him staying sober and not even having a desire to do that anymore because they were, again, he was just treating symptoms of Mm -hmm. himself. But when he found himself... Um, you really make some authentic change in the tank. Very cool. So what, you know, you obviously were practicing as, or have been practicing as a counselor way before you decided to um, Mm -hmm. embark on this endeavor. What made you decide to open up the float doctor? Okay, well, that's kind of an interesting one. To be perfectly honest, I I had a dream when I was 19, um, and I didn't know I was floating in the dream, so I actually kind of had a little mystical little glimpse when I was younger, but um, I... uh, when I joined the Department of Defense, I, I have a contract with them to work with our veterans with PTSD. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I was doing some additional research on what they call CAM, which is um, complementary alternative medicine, and different approaches that they were using to really get some wonderful effects with our veterans, get them off of 
10 medications and mm -hmm. you know it just they become a shell of themselves when they're in a bad place but um, you know reconnecting so uh, after I had uh, I, I'd been in pri private practice since 2012 and I think it was 2013 that I joined the Department of Defense and just started reading about it and I was just like what is this magical salt water mm -hmm. I want to know and then after I tried it um, that was it I'm like uh, I'm, I'm getting as many as I could fit in the room you know very cool so, yeah, that's how I found out about it, and it's amazing. We see it every day. Wow, and I know, and I've t and I see you often, and I tell mm -hmm. you often that I need to come visit, and I have not had a chance, but I'm we'll going to have to give an update. We'll make time for soon, you soon, mm -hmm. um, so that yeah. I can let everybody know what you know what my experience looked like. But um, I think I could probably use some relaxing. I can't imagine why with the we holidays and and family and mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, we all can. So, um, how did you decide on Sheboygan? Were you practicing, you know, with your counseling practice in Sheboygan the whole yeah, time? Or? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, I was born in Kiwani, but I've been in Sheboygan most of my life. Okay. Um, and certainly, my, um, doing counseling since 95, um, I, I've been here in the area. My husband's got almost 30 years at Kohler, so it, he wasn't going anywhere. Right. Um, so, yeah, um, I just found that this would be a really great place to just help people heal. And, you know, not just, you know, veterans with PTSD, but, you know, people with fibromyalgia, you know, mm -hmm. I, there's so many conditions that it can help that I, I just wanted to have it in conjunction uh, with my, my therapy practice to teach people how to really heal themselves. Right. And there is no magic pill. There really isn't. There, right. You know, to really make lasting change, um, it, it's a little work within yourself. And sometimes it's a little easier than people think. So. It's just about where do you get started, mm -hmm. right? It's all about perspective sometimes. It is. Uh -huh. it is. So tell me, where where exactly are you located? Or, or tell our uh -huh. viewers, where are you located? Okay, well, uh, we're right across the street, basically, from Blue Harbor. We okay. have a, a beautiful location right on the river. So we'll have people, even because it's been very nice outside lately, mm -hmm. you know, after a float, people can just sit on the patio and just take in a sunset, um, which is gorgeous, um, or go for a walk. We're less than three minutes to be on the beach of Lake Michigan. So right. I just think it's just so wonderful when your senses kind of start turning back on after a float, like you're just surrounded by just our gorgeous South Pier District. Absolutely. So, um, you do. You've perfect. got a great location yes, there. We love it. Yes. And how can people get a hold of you or where can they find more information about the float doctor? Yeah. Well, we certainly have a very involved Facebook page. Okay. Um, so you can find float doctor on Facebook. We have our, our website, floatdoctor.net. And okay. certainly call or stop in and we're always glad to you know, show you around if, if a room is available to let you see a room. And, right. um, you know, we're open seven days a week. So uh, we're here for everyone's relaxation and we love wow. it. Wow. Well, thank you so much. Stay tuned. We are going to have Brett Neville, Brent Neville of Fit Body Boot Camp join us right after the break. Why don't you ever see elephants hiding in trees? Because they're really good at it. <laughs> Yeah, I get it. America, let's do lunch. Volunteer at americaletsdolunch.org. Welcome back to Love Where You Live. Our next guest is Brent Neville, owner of Fit Body Boot Camp in Sheboygan. I'm so excited you could be here with us today, Brent. Thanks for having me. Yes, thanks for coming. So tell us a little bit more about you and your background and, um, and why fitness. Sure, sure. Well, I, I grew up in Wisconsin, um, not here in Sheboygan, but about an hour away. Um, a little town called Wilpon, it's a little south of Fond du Lac, and um, you know, it's always into athletics and sports growing up, never a great athlete by any means. I was always, uh, well, in elementary school, I was probably great, but I went to a small country school, so there wasn't a lot of competition. That was your peak? Right, that was probably my peak, was, uh, <laughs> was elementary school. No, um, but, you know, I played sports and stuff growing up and was always interested in that type of thing. Um, you know, went off to college and... Um, as happens to a lot of people, college wasn't real kind on my health. Okay. Uh, I was a runner in high school, and I thought that uh, running would be a good way to shed those extra pounds that I had put on in my first year of college. Um, what led out, to those pounds your first year of college? Uh, you know, the normal things. Just the normal too things. much fun. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I had to just be a yeah, smart aleck for a of minute. Of course. Okay. Um, 
but uh, so it's just kind of uh, exploring and figuring out like what worked for me, what helped, um, and that that took that was a long process. I mean, it was all throughout college and and, and even after college um, to start putting the pieces together. You know, doing my own research, what actually worked for me, um, and then uh, deciding that you know I always wanted to do something where I was helping people, okay. um, and uh, I was. The, the sports thing, and I was a news junkie. I actually was a newspaper reporter for a couple of years, um, and that was a great way for me to give back to, um, you know, sitting on the other side of this type of okay. thing, being able to, to get to know different people and tell their stories and, and get things out in the community, uh, and that was a great way for me to, to kind of to scratch that itch of, of giving back, um, but it never was as fulfilling as, as I wanted it to be, and so... Um, when I made the decision to to make a career shift, um, at that point it had been a no-brainer. I, I had already established my own patterns uh, of, of of improving my health and incrementally doing that throughout my my time as a, a journalist, and it was just time. <clears throat> you know, it was time, mm-hmm. and, and I knew what I wanted to do and, and how I wanted to take that. All right, awesome. So. You know, I, and I think that there's probably a lot of folks watching that question, what, what is Fit Body Boot Camp? How is it different than maybe going to a regular gym? Sure, sure. So uh, what we try to do at Fit Body is, is uh, fill the gap that kind of has existed for a long time in the marketplace. So traditionally you have a gym, let's say, you know, uh, a, a box gym. They have a bunch of equipment, they have treadmills, mm-hmm. they have ellipticals, they have a bunch of free weights on different things. Um, and you get a key, you might get a little orientation, they show you, um, you know, what, what they all have, how to check in, and then you're kind of on your own. Right. Um, the other side of the spectrum is where I broke into fitness, which is one-on-one personal training. Okay. Which is great. You come in, you work with me, I design a program for you, um, you know, I help you challenge yourself and, and progress and, and go on. Uh, and there's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's great, but those are two vastly different things. Right. And what comes with that vast difference is a huge difference in cost as well. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we're looking at a, a gym membership that may run 10 to $50 a month. And on the other side of the spectrum, personal training is, might run 50 to $60 per actual per time. Per session, you right. Know, I would say, you know, 30 to $60 is pretty average. Um, the place that I was working at, uh, you know, our cheapest session package, I think, was $45 a session, and that was if you were buying over 100 sessions. So right. wow. it just, for a lot of folks, they're either not ready to make that commitment or they're not able to make that commitment, right. and, and that's totally understandable. So our goal is to, to fill the gap in the middle there, give people the ability to work with, you know, certified personal trainers, get the accountability, support, and help they might need, but to bring that cost curve down. Okay. Um, and... You know, we get to do that in a, you know, a high energy environment. Um, it's non-judgmental. You know, I always tell people if, if you can walk in the door, there's things that we can work with you on. You know, there's some folks that that's not an option for them right now, but, right. Um, you know, we can build, build towards that. And it, it's not a competition. You know, our, right. our youngest client is 16 years old. Our oldest client is, I believe, 74. Wow. So, okay big difference between there and we have some clients that are not as fit as our 74 year old that might be in their 40s so again it's not I'm sure the 74 year old is probably more fit than I am so <laughs> you know and so it's it's just a matter of doing what what you can do and, and focusing on like your you know our we do a, a word of the week um and this week our word is success well success means different things to different people Absolutely. so you know one person may have a goal that you know they want to um maybe they want to lose 50 pounds someone else who may already be where they're at with that 50 pound weight loss goal that may be where they want to be because they already lost 60 pounds and they right. feel comfortable in their skin and and where they want to be you know everybody's got different reasons that are driving them and it's a matter of figuring out what do you want what are you going to do to get there you can always change your mind right you know and, and that does happen often because a lot okay. of times we don't feel like we have the ability to accomplish you know x until right. we're closer to that now it seems possible and realistic right um you know and things like that so you know, we, we run 30-minute sessions. Um, you know, it's, it's not, a, not a long period of time, okay. but we do a lot of work in that time. There's, right. there's not a lot of downtime, and that works out for a lot of folks, too, because, you know, uh, most of us don't have a lot of free time. Exactly. You know, everybody's busy. If you ask them, everybody's busy. Um, you know, and it's just a matter of figuring out what can you 
you know, move around in your schedule or what can you eliminate in your schedule to create, you know, what we're asking for is just 30 minutes, three times a week. Right. We recommend three to five sessions a week okay. um, to come in and challenge your body um, and, and amazing things can happen. Um, the other piece that's, that's really critically important is, um, you know, assessing where your nutrition is at. What's okay. going to determine for folks how quickly they make progress on most of their goals is, is their nutrition and what they're willing to change, uh, what they're ready to change. Okay. Um, but again, that's a personal decision. I'm never going to tell somebody like, you need to give up this, you can't eat that. Like, there's right. no bad foods. There's, right. there's not good and bad foods. Right. It's just some foods are better for us than others and some things we should be eating more of than others. Um, there's some things, yeah, you probably shouldn't eat. But right. Like all the Christmas cookies we've been eating for the last couple of weeks, sure. I'm sure. Yeah, and that, you know, <laughs> that's, you know that's a, but that's a personal thing, whether or not you feel that those are things that you want to eat on a regular basis or like, you know, those are things that I eat occasionally because I do enjoy them, mm -hmm. but I'm not going to have them every day. Right. You know, and so, and in knowing that if I'm going to choose to have that, then maybe I'm going to say no to something else instead. Right. So it's figuring out a balance that works for you to achieve what you want to achieve. If that doesn't work for you, then it's going back and reexamining those decisions. And do, do I really want to have that if it means that I can't achieve this goal? Right. And, but that's a personal thing, you know? And one thing I, in talking, um, and obviously I, at the chamber, we have quite a few folks who sure. participate in your classes. Yeah. And even beyond, I mean, the fitness piece obviously is important, and we're here to talk about health and wellness. But the one thing I've noticed with the people that are, are coming to your classes that I've experienced is the, the, the team environment, sure. the camaraderie almost family-like, sure. and I think with that comes a certain accountability to each other, and they are looking forward to it. Sometimes g just getting to the gym is just the act of physically making it to the gym. Once you're there, you're okay, but 100%. getting yourself out of bed or you know stopping whatever you're doing um, to make it to the gym for that session is what's hard. So how do you guys, how have you guys built that with your classes? Sure, sure. Yeah, I mean, that, that is something that is intentional. Um, you know, we do want to provide an environment where people feel, um, feel comfortable. They feel like they, that, that everyone's there for the same reason. They're all there to improve their health. Um, it, you know, there's so many bonds that have been established there that it's like I was talking to somebody the other day, and I'm like, how long have you guys known each other? Like, oh, we met here. Like, really? Like, they, wow. they just seem like they're best friends. And, yeah. you know, to be able to um, give people the opportunity to get to know people to, you know, most of our clients tend to come to the same, same session consistently. We have some that mm -hmm. have crazy schedules and, you know, they, you know, we have one woman who works 48 hour shifts, you know, she's a, wow. she's a trauma nurse. And okay. so she stays at the hospital for 48 hours at a crack, you know, but not, that's not the norm. Most people have pretty set schedules and they right. come at consistent times. So you get to see the same faces. You get to see, you know, people making progress. You get to, you know, um, you know, I get to know, you know, like, I know you're really good at X exercise. Right, yeah. So I'm going to try to make sure that I can do it just as well as you can. You know, okay. if you're a competitive person, right. if you're not, that's fine. But like, right. you know, we're all competitive in different ways. And so when we can use each other to be competitive in a positive sense, mm -hmm. um, it just builds builds that camaraderie. You know, we certainly do uh, other little things to, to try to help that and spur that. But a lot of that is just organic by giving people the opportunity. I think um, especially in society now, um, with the um, you know, rise of technology and social media, I think people are starved for connection. Yeah. And so it's giving people another place to, to feel at home, to feel like they can connect with other people um, when it's so easy nowadays to not talk to anybody. Right. And so giving them a place to do that um, really helps. And, you know, like you were saying, it's, it, exercises is something that a lot of people are naturally intrinsically motivated to do you know it's hard we're mm -hmm. gonna sweat we're go it's gonna it, it should be hard if you want to get the results it has to be hard exactly um, but you know it, it it doesn't really get easier you just get better you know and so you know what let's say on day one you you can't do an exercise and day 30 you can do four of them and day 60 you can do 12 like and that's all in the same period of time you know, let's say 30 seconds, right. you know, you can see that, that change. Progression. And, but mm -hmm. getting people just to get started is the biggest thing. And so having that community is helpful. And, you know, I would say a high majority of our clients uh, come to us, say like, oh, my, my aunt comes here or my sister comes here or my 
aunt, sister's cousin comes right. here, you know, like, or, or they, you know, they know someone who knows someone who's, who's a client, and, and, and that helps because it gives them a way to plug in right away and feel at home, and um, some people spread their wings a little faster than others. Some people, you know, we have husbands and wives who work out in the same session. We have husbands and wives who never work out together. Right. We have husbands and wives who work out in the same session on opposite sides of the room. So, <laughs> you know, you find what works for you and, and what helps you stay consistent. And, yeah, I mean, we certainly have an accountability piece that comes from us, but mm -hmm. there's another layer of accountability that comes from client to client. Absolutely. Right, exactly. Which is huge. So, and I know... Um, you know, talking about health and fitness, but you had mentioned earlier when you were kind of transitioning into this shift in your career about giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. And I know we don't have a, a lot of time, but I wanted to just touch, you know, briefly on Fit Body Boot Camp um, participates in a lot of different areas throughout the community. Sure. And you guys even get your clients involved in this process a lot of times. So tell us about some of the community serve projects you guys have done um, this year, or in, I'm sorry, last year in 2018. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, I mean, I think uh, that's something that's really important to me and, and something that, you know, when you have a group of people who uh, are like-minded, we can, we can take advantage of that and give them that opportunity to do things that they already want to do. They just don't know how. Mm -hmm. um, and. You know, in the last uh, the last few months of uh, 2018, we were able to do a couple really cool things. Um, actually, uh, today, actually right now as we're speaking, where uh, some of our, our team is delivering some Christmas gifts. We adopted 12 families um, from uh, three of the local elementary schools. And uh, it's just really cool to be able to, to do something like that. And, Absolutely. And, you know, our, our, our clients, you know, did most of the work. They We had a tree up and they... they purchased most of the gifts we cleaned up the last you know 10 to 15 percent and um you know we had a wrapping party it's another opportunity to bring people together in yeah. a different way to see them outside their workout clothes and right. uh you know and, and and bring people from different sessions together and, and get to know each other um and, and that's a really cool thing um we participated really heavily in coats with kids coats for kids this year okay. um uh, Ryan Belt Novak does a great job with that one, and we donated over 300 coats um, through our facility. Encourage people to, hey, if your friends and family have coats, feel free. Yeah. We can help, you know, deliver it to them. Uh, you know, we're certainly here to do our piece and, and to be able to help that way. Uh, the food bank is near and dear to us as, as people who care about nutrition. It's important that people have access to things. Absolutely. Um, we filled uh, our, our clients filled a, a large collection box twice in this fall. Uh, including over 700 items of protein in a separate di drive to torture us. Um, we give them a little incentive so you guys for had every. To stare at it the whole time. Yeah. So every every day we you know we'd have people come in and bring in a whole case of tuna or a case of chicken or peanut butter and yeah. um, you know add 25 more checks for our uh, our burpee count that we had to do for uh, nice. every item. So those are just a couple examples of things that that you know when we have a community partner that identifies a need uh, to see how can we help out. I know we have one already booked for, um, for March. Um, there's another organization that's looking for help and, you know, it heard what, right. we're, what we're doing and what we can possibly do. Wonderful. Well, it sounds like you guys are having a lot of fun and um, thank you so much for joining us sure. today. Real quick, tell people how to get a hold of you. Where can they find out more information about Fit Body Boot Camp? Sure, sure. Um, uh, we have a Facebook page. Uh, if you just search Sheboygan Fit Body Boot Camp on Facebook, uh, fitbodysheboygan.com. Um, our phone number, you can call or text that number, 920-395-4248. Uh, or info, info at fitbodysheboygan.com. Perfect. Brent, thank you so much. And I'm sorry we don't have more time, but truly, okay. thank you for joining us today. And hopefully, um, this information we shared will help people get uh, healthy and in shape into uh, 2019. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we'll see you again next month. Thanks for down. You keep talking. So we're going to just...